And a very good evening and welcome to the show. Well, this evening I'll be joined by one of our great stars here in Ireland. Over the years, I've loved this lady. She has been so good to the Irish music business and abroad as well. Back in 1975, managed by the great Willie McCormick from County Cavan, along comes a hit, and the hit was Gloria Smith with One Day at a Time. Ladies and gentlemen, one day at a time from the wonderful Gloria Smith and Gloria. Thank you so much, darling, for joining us. It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> I know. Good to see you, Frank. You have a seat I there, know. darling. And we have a lot of things to talk about. I oh, hope, yeah. Gosh. I hope my producer is going to give us enough of time. It all happened. You were born, strange enough, everybody would say you were born in Navin in County Meath. But I know that's not just really the truth. You were born in... In Bailiborough County, Cavan, Frank. But and a lot of people don't really know that because I grew up not very far, as you can see, but uh, grew a bit in Navan. <laughs> so all my relations are still living in Bailiborough County, Cavan. So right. that's where I was in Thromban and my mother's from Cavan. And then where did it... The, the, the obvious question, where did it all start for Gloria as, well, an, as an, a young, bright, beautiful lady with a powerful voice? Oh, I mean, you, you, well, I don't know whether your memory's got a bit clouded or whether that's very nicey to say that, Frank. Um, probably in the womb, because when my mum was pregnant with me, she went to the cinema in Avon. Dad had a band, as you know, the Arcadians. That's right. And he played in a place in Corkish in Baileyborough. Met my mother and took her on the back of the bike back to Navan. She was very young. He had a band. He's a good bit older than that, my mum. And they went to the cinema, and Gloria Swanson was in a film. And she said, if it's a girl, we call her Gloria. So that was it. So I had no chance, really, Frank, from the start. So it was Gloria. Oh, and, on stage, yeah. And then, uh, obviously, you, 
music, you know. You, I just want to touch on your brother, Jimmy, one of the greatest guitar players in the world. I mean, I, I just I love know. the guy to bits. So do I. He's, he is gift. He's gifted, Jimmy, as you well know, Frankie, because I don't know if a lot of your viewers would know, but you were, you were in the singing in the show band here a lot. We used to meet a lot on the road. But yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy came up. I better mention Paddy Cole and all the bands he, he got his stripes with because, yeah. but he's now, um, yeah, he's now in University College in Dublin over the head of the Guitar Institute. So he went back and studied, Frank, unlike the rest of us. Right. And then, of course, your, your sister, also Gosh, a very famous name. You're not going to be through them all, are you, Frankie? Not, no, no. but... Uh, it's Patrice. 11. It's 11 of them, you see. I know. 11 of them. <laughs> 11 of them. Well, we won beautiful sister missing when he passed away. But yeah. Patrice as well. There's Patrice and then Tony. You see, this, when you start this, it gets a bit dangerous, Frank. <laughs> if, if I don't mention one of them, they'll say you were on Frankie Kilbride's show and you didn't mention my band. Absolutely, So Arcadia yeah. from Navan, Tony has a band, and the rest got the brains. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing a whole lot of them. But the one day at a time, one day at a time. I mean, it's so it's such a worldwide hit. But the fact that you were a, an Irish lady coming out with a hit in 1975. Did I say 75? You sure uh, did, honey. And you're very diplomatic about it. 75 is right. Well, the story about one day at a time is very simple, Frankie. Um, I was recording in Dublin. Rich Records. We you've done a, a few artists on your show that were involved with Ritz and Willie and Mick Clarkin. So I did, I was doing a gospel. Two good chatting men. Oh, yeah, Mick well, where's, the, where's the calm connection all the time? Yeah, you see? Yeah. Mick's wonderful, Mick's wonderful. A lot of faith in me. And uh, I did a gospel album. I was doing a gospel album in Lombard Street. You know very well yourself, you recorded mm -hmm. in it. Ritz Records. And they, they sent it out to Nashville. And Jerry Hughes, do you remember Jerry Hughes, Frank? Yes. He, he was... Um, a session, a session guitar player, and he sent it out to Nashville. So that's, I got invited out to sing. I learned all these songs. But see, I wanted to go over and be Billy Joe Spears or Tammy Wynette. I wanted to be a country singer. Mm -hmm. And I went out there and recorded and um, did the gospel album. And one lady was, at the, was in the studio that day and heard my voice and she said, would you like to do a song of mine, honey? I said, no, I don't think so, because I have 45 songs. I have them all learned, you know. And I didn't, you know, to me it didn't. I was very young. So that was Mary John Wilkins. She took me out to her house. and Chris, I met Chris Christopherson, which was absolutely wonderful. Great guy. Oh, you know, I mean, he's just a legend. And uh, recorded it the next morning. That was it, finally. And, and then it all took flight from there. Yeah, well, it does. I, I didn't happen overnight, as you well know. Because, you know... But did I always say a tough business for a, a girl or a lady to be in the music, Irish music business. I mean, you're travelling the length and the breadth of the country, the UK and further beyond. I was just so happy to be going singing, to tell you the truth, because my dad, as I said, had a band. All I ever wanted to do, frankly, was just get up and sing. I had no qualms about the hard part of it at all, because as you well know, we met on the road many a time. I just accepted that this is what you have to do. So I was six, seventeen, and I moved down to Castle Blaney then and joined Morris Lynch's band. So that was an education in itself. I'm, I'm sure it yeah, was. Yeah, it was. That was a, 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 a degree well learned. You didn't have to go to university no. and study all that. You've also, uh, you have two kids. I have indeed. Well, they're, they're a little bit more than kids now. Oh yeah, well, yeah, I have two, and grandchildren as well, Frankie. Yeah. Paul is, we not say the age, He's a rock guitar player, a bit like Jimmy. Yeah. And his girlfriend Brilliant going to there. He's good player. Yeah. They're okay. all, you know, uh, and, and then Laura's at home with me. And Laura's at home. You know, will you get back to that stage there and where you started as often? There's a lovely song, Tippy Towing, that you you have on your current album. And I dedicate that to all the, the grands and nannies and nans who work very hard to mind the children, the grandchildren. So I'll dedicate that to all of those if you don't mind, Frankie. Right. Gloria, maybe you'd head for the stage and grab one of those microphones over there and do uh, a, a verse or two of Tippy Toeing for us. Loved, Pess. All right. Thanks, Thanks for Gloria. asking me. All right. The great Gloria there. And uh, she's 